Hey, yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is John Slop, and today we're taking a listen to some more Patreon requests. So I hope y'all are nice and comfy. Have yourselves a snack. Have yourselves some smoke. Whatever you need to do to chillax, because we're getting into some pretty heavy tracks here. I don't really know exactly what we're getting to, but that's the joy of it, right? So first up, uh, let me just announce what we have for tonight, dude. We have uh, a request from Patreon member Jason. Uh, the band is Moby Grape uh, with the song Indifference. So really excited. So let's just do a little bit of uh, research on Movie Grape. But before we do that, make sure to leave a like and go on over to patreon.com slash John Slop. If you haven't already, uh, you can get early access to these videos and you can help the channel grow even more. So uh, what is, who, who is Moby Grape, dude? Uh, they're an American rock band founded in 1966, part of San Francisco's psychedelic music scene. Uh, they merge elements of rock and roll, folk music, pop, blues, and country. Okay. Um, they were one of the few groups of which all members were lead vocalists, as well as all were songwriters. What the heck? Wow, I can't, I don't even, I can't even imagine, like, how, how many, how many vocalists or how many musicians are there in this group? Um, okay, let's just read a little bit about their early career. The group formed in September 1966. Uh, at the instigation of Skip Pence and Matthew Katz, both had pr been previously associated with the Jefferson Airplane. Uh, okay, cool. Spence, as the band's first drummer, playing on their first album, Jefferson Airplane Takes Off, and Katz as the band's manager, but both had been dismissed by the group. What the heck? Katz encouraged Spence to form a band similar to Jefferson Airplane, with varied songwriting and vocal work by several group members and with Katz as the manager. Why were they dismissed by the group? Did they just have somebody else that they wanted to work with? Uh, the band name chosen by Bob Mosley and Spence came from the punchline of the joke, What's big and purple and lives in the ocean? Moby Crepe. <laughs> That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> That's pretty funny, though. I like it. Uh, all right. Well, I think that's enough to go off of. Apparently, they were pretty successful. They uh, There was like a marketing stunt where they released five singles at once, and the band was perceived as being overhyped. That's really cool. I mean, you just kind of skip a few steps, right? Just already getting your band to overhyped. Like, ugh. They're already, like, pervasive in everybody's minds. <laughs> uh, anyways, that is um, enough to get started. Uh, well, first, this is off their first album. So, uh, the song Indifference off of their self-titled first album from 1967. So, I'm excited. Thank you so much, Jason. Really appreciate you. Uh, let's see. We have it up already. So, let's just uh, take a quick little uh, i think marijuana hit before we jump on into this one so like i said get comfy everybody we're gonna be here for a little bit if you're on patreon right so um yeah uh, i'm just gonna have to pause real quick because <laughs> i just need to be right back i forgot i need to take care of something be right back okay so what is up everybody we are back and we're just gonna take a quick little hit of our weed and then we're gonna jump into moby grape in a difference i'm excited dude psychedelic rock up on my list of like best rock genres of all time dude all right moby grape in difference here we go <laughs>
okay, okay. Let's pause it real quick. I love the vocal harmonies. They weren't kidding when they said everybody was a main singer. Dude, I'm hearing so many voices. I can't even count. Um, uh, I definitely hear a little bit of like country, but I'm mostly getting like Southern rock, a little bit of blues. Uh, I like this a lot. It's fast. Uh, I'm digging it. Great bass too. Uh, great guitar work. Let's listen more. We're not even halfway through. Moby Grape, Indifference. What do you think so far? sounding i love that i love how you can hear just like the feedback um oh i was not ready for that uh like whole outro sequence they just kind of went on a whole little tangent like a whole different song entirely that was really cool i love when bands decide to just go on like a like an instrumental little, little thing dude that was awesome uh that was so cool. It was badass, dude. This is a badass song, dude. 1967. These guys were bringing it this hard? Gosh, damn. These must have been a big influence for every single band in the 70s. Like, This is like the 70s sound, but it's so early. It's in 67? What the heck? I love this so much. Moby Grape. I can see how this became uh, pretty popular, dude. Oh, wow. Great guitar work. Uh, overall, just great record. Like, in general. Great voices. Um, at certain points, there were, like, a lot of voices, right? Almost, like, too many voices. But, like, uh, the song closed up nicely. It just... Everything worked. Uh, that was a lot of fun. That was awesome. Uh, thank you. Uh, Jason. Right, let's look up the let's look up the lyrics, dude. Let's see what these cats have to say. What a difference a day has made. What a difference a day has made. What a difference and more of the same. What's that song you're singing? Just a bell ringing in my mind. What's that tune you're bringing? Just part of what there is to find. What a difference a day has made. What a difference a day has made. 
What a difference and more of the same. What's this deeper here, something that you've always been? Is it you I've finally found? Brought you up, now brings you down. What the heck does this even mean, dude? Ah, uh, then the chorus again. What's this song you're bringing, just a bell ringing in my mind? Is it forever, ever? That's the part that blows my mind. And then the outro, or at least the, the end of the lyrics. Just one thing I got to say. Try some today now, baby. Try some now. Try some what? Oh, indifference? I'm lost. Uh, if you know anything about the meaning of this song, let me know. Very cool. Uh, regardless, I think the lyrics flow nicely. And I think that's what's important, dude. Great song. Thank you so much, Jason. Really appreciate you. And thank you to every single one of the Patreon members. Really couldn't do this without each and every single one of you. So go on over to patreon.com slash johnslop for early access to these videos and to submit your own requests. All right, I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.